Hi there guys, Ken here, you're at the Rifty Apprentice, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a painting demo and a review of the Windsor & Newton watercolor pencils. This is a Studio Set 24 count student grade pencils. Before we get started really well, guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and show me that you appreciate the content put out for you. And we're going to move right on into doing the cherry. I'm using several different colors because I'm going to be painting a rainbow sundae here. Now, I am painting on Maya 100% cotton one watercolor paper. Um, and uh, I am using uh, Creative Expression uh, Golden Teclon round brushes in order to push that pigment around. And I'm just going to start at the top with the cherry. I move down. I'm just kind of doing each layer of the ice cream and um, what would have been the chocolate syrup on top of the ice cream. So I'm sort of doing it different colors. For instance, that syrup is orange. There's some green syrup. There's some violet syrup. Um, my ice cream colors are yellow and blue and red. And then the very bottom layer of ice cream is going to end up being orange. Um, for the orange, I was using the more cooler and warmer color. The warmer color was called Mandarin. It was actually a really pretty color, but overall, these colors are actually a little weak, if the truth be told. Um, they do tend to lift a little bit more than other watercolor pencils once they are dispersed in water um, to the point where they will lift off the paper if you're not careful. So um, I did have a little trouble with this. Not much, but a little. Um, a couple of things ended up not liking very much, and I'm actually going to change. As you guys know, um, when I work through a composition, if I run across something I don't like, I will change the flow of my original painting in a heartbeat. Um, so here I'm really just going back and forth, adding in saturation and depth. I'm actually using the uh, True Blue. Um, what would be the closest to ultramarine in this set in order to do the shadowing and the shading um, because I didn't want to use the black pencil. I didn't want anything to look dead. Well, not in the actual ice cream. Now, I will use the black for the shadowing or part of the shadowing, but um, I did not use much in the actual painting of the composition at all. Um, so I'm just making sure that you can see the definition and the division between um, what was supposed to be the syrup versus what was the ice cream versus what was the top of the bowl. Um, now here, uh, I kind of had the idea about an edible straw. So I um, am painting what I have seen to be a sugar straw. So it's going to be base blue and then I'll go back and paint in other colors to make it look rainbow as well. Um, now the glass or the vase that not the cup should i say um which was supposed to be glass i guess but my intentions was to make it look solid instead of painting painting it to look like glass but i did want the yellow areas on the um on the cup to look like they were raised so um i painted those in with yellow and made sure to leave some highlights um, I did use the white of the paper for my highlighting this time. I wanted to do that instead of using the uh, bleed proof or gouache or uh, a white color pencil. Just wanted to really try using out the white. Now, I really didn't like the way the bottom of that um, vase or cup, glass, <laughs> whatever you want to call it was. So I did change the shape and I removed the yellow portion. Now, you can still see a little bit of the yellow up under the bottom of the green. Um, but I'm going to try to mask that and disguise that in, in the shadowing um, once I start to put the shadow down to ground the, the image to the paper. So I'm just going to go back and forth, um, kind of putting in depth and saturation. Again, I'm using that blue to do the defining um, to kind of separate the separate portions of the cup. Um, I gave it shadow around those little yellow uh, sections in order to make them look like they lifted. Um, for the shadow, I put down a base layer of like orange and blue because they would neutralize each other out. Um, then I went back and covered it with blue again, giving it time to dry because I'm going to go back in with black 
um, in order to just kind of spruce everything up once it was all said and done. So here, that's what I'm doing with that. Um, and I'm just going to outline everything. And once we're done with this, we'll come out on the other side of this painting uh, with the review. Um, overall, it's okay. Wish it could have been better. But let's jump into the review. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little demo. And welcome back to another Thrifty Review. We're going to take a really quick look at Windsor & Newton Studio Collection. 24 count of watercolor pencils. Now, as you guys know, I've already done an unboxing and a first look at these pencils, including a swatching and a demo. We've seen several different paintings go up over the last couple of weeks um, involving these pencils, and we will take a look at a few of those um, before this video ends. But let's just do a really quick recap. The pencils came in a plastic wrapping, which I've already disposed of. Um, the tin which had a belly band on it, giving you the Windsor & Newton logo studio collection. Um, on the back of the belly band, it gave you a color swatch. It lets you know it was 24 versatile colors. Um, Windsor & Newton's information in London, but the pencils themselves are made in Vietnam. We want to keep that in mind for right now. They do have the AP stamp of approval, and that is pretty much all of the information that's on the belly band now. There is no light fast information listed on the belly band. There's none listed um, on the actual pencils. Now, the Windsor Newton website does say that the pencils are highly light fast and highly pigmented, but there is some information to contradict that, and we're also going to get into that as well. So, the tin latched really easily. There was no issues with that. Pretty sturdy tin. Even the trays themselves that the pencils are in was pretty sturdy. And I do believe that's based on the fact that they're half trays and they're not so long. So there's not as much to wobble around. 24 pencils in this set. There's 12 pencils to a tray. And you do have a pretty decent color range of pencils there. As you can see, the pencils are round. The pencils are round, so they will roll. Standard white pencil, very little information on it other than the color name and the Windsor and, Luton, Windsor and Newton logo, excuse me. Um, if you remember, there's a color chip, the dome, so you can't see if the pencils are um, centered, but I will say that they were pretty centered. The pencils did sharpen well, and they did hold a point once sharpened, however, once a little pressure was applied to that lid, it would snap and it would snap easy. And it did so on several different occasions, including one of the videos um, that I was using the black pencil in. Um, if you go back and watch any of the work that was done with these. Um, other than that, the color chip on the end was pretty primarily close to the actual color of the pencil um, in its mass tone form. Of course, with a little water added to it, that will change the consistency and the vibrancy of the watercolor pencil. It shouldn't do it by much, but it will do it some. In the case of these pencils, it kind of did it a lot. There was sort of a big shift between the mass tone and the um, water being added to the pigment to dilute it out and spread it out and give it its watercolor effects. Let's actually take a look at the swatch sheet. So here's the swatch sheet for the pencils. Now, I want to do something a little different. I did it in circles instead of doing it in squares, and I just went ahead and labeled the names um, corresponded to the color swatches. Um, they were okay. Like I said, here you can see that the glazing layer for those swatches are done in the mass tone, right? Um, and the bottom layer there, and you guys forgive my band-aid, I'm sorry, I have a little boo-boo on my finger. Um, you can see that there's sort of, there's a, there's a big difference in the color, and you really are supposed to expect one, but not one that, that that's huge of a jump. The pencil was, pencils were sort of weak, just a little bit in pigmentation. It took quite a few passes to really get the saturation and color that I wanted with the pencils. I will admit that. Um, some colors um, really just didn't do it for me at all. 
Um, I don't really understand the ice gray three color. Um, didn't really add any value to the set, I don't think. The burnt sienna was sort of eh, it was okay. I didn't really care for the plum, and ironically enough, the royal blue was so violet leaning that it looks like it's a violet, like it's in the purple family. Um, it doesn't look like it's blue at all. Um, the midnight blue and the true blue were okay, um, especially for, especially for shadowing. The true blue came in handy um, in the painting demo that played before this review. Uh, let's see. The yellow and the sunflower actually are very close in value. You really can't tell a huge difference, especially once water is added. And you can see the mass tone has been layered for both of those. And there's still not a huge difference between the two. Um, you do have a carmine and what is supposed to be a true red, which in all honesty is really weak and dissolved really easily. Um, when it was activated with water to the point where it lifted real really easily um, in the green the um, Grass green is another color that seemed to lift really easily when um, Water hit it now. I was actually really surprised at a lot of this considering the fact that this is Karen the Windsor Newton logo, but again, I told you keep in mind that the pencil said that they were made in Vietnam and a lot of Windsor and Newton products have been outsourced and are no longer made where they were originally made. They're being made in other countries now and unfortunately it seems that some of them um, outside of the things that are still being made in like France have lost sort of a quality um, and I don't seem to be the only artist to think that now. I like and I have tried a few samples of the professional Windsor & Newton watercolor, which I think are really great. I kind of like them. I mean, some people say they think they're just kind of so-so, but I think they're pretty cool. I don't have a set and I'm going to order a set so that we can test and, and review those. And But with that being said, you know, I was just expecting more from the pencils. Now, the lid of the pencil for all intents and purposes was a little kind of middle of the road. It wasn't soft, but it wasn't exactly hard. It was a little scratchy in places depending on the color pencil that you used. Um, however, there was not a lot of debris or fallout from the pencils. I will say that I didn't have a huge issue with any any smudging because there wasn't a, a excuse me, let me slow that down. I did not experience any smudging because there was not a lot of debris or our fallout um so that was a good thing but there was just one or two good things compared to a lot of you know kind of things that irritated me a little bit about the pencils so i decided that i would go ahead and give a try painting with them we did a couple of things uh, i think the very first thing we did with the pencils was me showing uh sort of a value painting which was the landscape in all black if i'm not mistaken um off camera i did a landscape sort of a daytime scene i really want to see what some of the other colors look like um here you can see i didn't have any issues kind of trying to get some highlights in those hills and that's because that green pigment that that um grass green pigment it lifted so easily it, it's, it just wasn't a good color. I really had to do a lot of work to uh, get there to a point where I was moderately satisfied with it. Um, on the camera together, I think we did these bookmarks, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the pencils worked really well here. And here's the thing. I think these pencils are going to be really, really cool uh, for sketchbook work, for notebook work, for doing things that you want to reproduce. Um again in my case that this sort of works but not something that's going to last over a long time and i'm going to show you what i mean in just a minute now the website made the claim that the pencils are highly light fast and i think that's going to be the case as long as they're kept in this condition 
closed up in sketchbooks or in this condition where they're used in craft projects where they're going to and see these are bookmarks so they're going to be used in junk journals or reading books or or art journals or things of that nature so they won't be exposed to sunlight but i do not think that this is a product that you want to expose to any sunlight actually based on my um on the research that i did now here's the last thing that i painted with them i actually as i told you got this to a point where i was okay with it i wasn't super happy with the way the bottom is but you know it's it's better than it's better than none let's just say it like that but overall moderately happy with the way it came out it gave me the rainbow effect that i wanted i was painting it based on you know watercolor group so um yeah so those are the things that i painted with them so i, I did get a chance to get pr plenty of experience enough to let you know that you know i don't think that you know they are of the highest quality if i had to compare them First of all, I would put them on the same level as, you know, the studio brand from other legacy brands that I'm familiar with, like um, the favorite Castell Aqua watercolor pencil, um, the Brunzio Ricks Museum watercolor pencil. Um, and if I was to put this up against those, this would definitely fall in third place behind either one of those set of pencils. I was just really surprised and moderately disappointed uh, the pencils are currently running for about $22.74 um, on Jerry's Autorama, which puts them at about $0.94 cent a pencil. If you get them from Amazon, they're currently hitting you for $28.34, which puts them at $1.18 cent a pencil. And for the quality, $1.18 cent a pencil, and I'll oh, understand, I'm going to tell you, it's just way too high. I would not pay that for these pencils. I would think real long and hard about paying the $22.74 for the 24, 24 count again, which puts them at 94 cent a pencil. Um, I think there are some other brands out there that you could possibly buy that are gonna be of the same quality in the same realm that's gonna be more budget friendly on the pocket um, and just kind of match the quality. If I had to, if I had to price the pencils, I definitely wouldn't pay any more than <laughs> about 20 bucks for them. And that's just this stretch and you know, 20 bucks, yeah. But I, I think they're priced above that price point, no matter where you get them from. So, you know, I'm gonna leave that on you, whether or not that's something you wanna do. Do I necessarily recommend the pencils? I mean, I don't never not recommend anything. I think that everything has its place. As I said, um, they would be good for like card making or things of that nature. Um, but definitely not anything you're gonna reproduce and I'll show you really quickly what I mean. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this on up. So as you guys know, I use Kimberly Crick as a reference all the time. I think she is really knowledgeable about a lot of different things of watercolor. Um, and of course she has had her run in with these pencils and I'll be honest, she did not give them the greatest review either. However, I did not go into this i did not go into my review reading anything from her other than the light phase ratings i didn't actually read the review of what she said about the particular pencils until after i had already formed my own opinion and wrote out my notes but anyway here i just kind of want to show you guys the light phase testing so um, the site claimed that the pencils are highly light fast, and I'm not sure if that belly band said that. Uh, where is it? I don't even know where it is at the moment. Um, but I know the site said the pencils were highly light fast. Well, here's a little light fast test done by Kimberly Crick. She really does a lot of these. And as you can see, it's showing um, the entire uh, color range here. It's showing the mass tone, and then it's showing what they look like in no sun after a year versus one year in window light. So, you know, being exposed to window light, and here you get six months window light versus six months no sun. So basically it's showing that the pencils 
last as long as they're not exposed to any sun. But here, a lot of the colors have already faded six months in after being exposed to window light. And then if you look here after a year in, it's just crazy, especially with your warmer colors. Now the cool colors here, after six months, even after being exposed, um, they lasted pretty well. Um, over here, after a year, the cooler colors into the earth tones, again, lasted pretty well. So I guess if you were a landscape artist and you were doing landscapes, well, you may be okay, right? Cause, well, other than that, um, that grass green that I told you kind of dissolved, as you can see here, after a year, it's faded a lot. So as long as you avoid that one and maybe like, I think that color is called caramel. Um, and the burnt sienna, which was another one I didn't care for. So they do fade a bit after a year, not as much after six months but they definitely last a lot better than any of the warm. So any of your yellow, oranges, reds, pinks, fuchsias, any of those colors and that peaches, um, flesh tones, yeah, no, those, no, those are a no-go. So there, I just wanted you guys to see that with your own eyes. Um, not something that I would necessarily spend my money on. I hate to give anything a bad review, especially anything Windsor and Newton, because I love, um, I think Cotman paints are decent. I like them. Some people don't, but I like them. Um, I think that I love my Windsor and Newton watercolor markers. You know, I have the Windsor, and I'm, I'm going to get the color pencils. I think there's a studio collection of color pencils to try them out. I mean, but yeah. So there you have it, guys. Please, please, please don't forget these are um, their student pencil. This is not a professional pencil, okay? Don't forget that. All right, there you have it. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, guys. Let me know that you appreciate the content. Um, share the video. Sharing is caring. Don't forget that the video description has all of the relevant links that you need. In case you want these pencils, you will find two places you can get them, along with links to the most recommended um, product list, Etsy shop, and a whole bunch of other things. So check out the video description for all of those good things. Follow us on all the social media sites. Remember that you can join us at Paints, Pencils, Pastels, and Markers. Um, the Facebook group where we do everything artsy and crafty. Remember, as I tell you at the end of every single video, just keep painting and crafting.